it's Wes. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing something kind of fun, and that is looking at what comes with the Canon C70. Uh, it's not really an unboxing, but not everyone has access to a camera like this, so I just want to go through what it feels like to unbox, I guess. I, it, I said it wasn't an unboxing. I don't want it to be an unboxing, but I just want to share. We got two C70s for work, and I just want to share what it's like to open a cinema camera, see what's in it, and um, just talk about why. Why the Canon C70? So uh, this is gonna be a pretty quick video and let's get started. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. So we have the Canon C70 right here in the box and I am going to probably struggle with this a little bit. Um, but opening up this little bit of cardboard, just to pack it. First thing you see is you have your uh, battery charger. And we won't be firing this up because I don't think these batteries are charged. So uh, like this, and then there's a special DC plug right there. Uh, we have a manual as well. There's the EOS C70 manual, and it looks like a warranty card. I'm gonna be filling that out. And then right away, uh, you get to the plastic tray that protects the body of the camera. Um, and on top of that, you have the handle, the top handle that comes with it. Um, there is a power cord right here, and that is likely for the battery charger. And here is a strap. I don't know who uses a strap with their cinema camera. Leave me a comment, let me know if you do. And here are four bolts, two of the same size and two of various sizes, probably for the top handle. And there is the plastic protector. Now, next layer down, we have the C70 right here. And it's wrapped in a little protective layer of polyurethane. I don't, I don't really know what that is. Uh, we have the uh, shot, uh, kind of a shock mount for a mic. Here's the battery, um, and it's a bigger uh, battery than you would expect. Coming from Canon, it's not the LPE6 or LPE6N. It's more like the Sony batteries. Uh, so you should get some more battery life. And here is the other part of the, uh, it's kind of a two part configuration to, to plug this in. So that is the end of what is in the box. I am gonna plug this in right now so I can get the battery charged and uh, it's a Friday. I don't know, this video may go up on Saturday but my plan is to get cracking and get uh, comfortable with this camera. Now, uh, we've been making a ton of videos at work and we've been using the EOS R's. For those, um, one of the things they have in common with this one is there's no IBIS, there's no stabilization. Uh, so other than that, they uh, share very <laughs> little in common because the C70 is a beast. All right, so we have those right there. Slide that battery out. And there's a little cap on top of the battery to protect its contacts. Slide that right in there and uh, pop over to the wall and plug this in. All right, it is now charging. And so that leaves us to explore what is in this goodie bag. So there is a hand grip. So that's something that's interesting comes uh, kind of like uh, the Peak Design, I think it's called the Clutch. I have one of those that I use for shooting long event, uh, event photography gigs. Uh, but you have this uh, clutch on the side that's built in. I guess you could remove it. There's probably a way to remove it without cutting it, but um, I don't see it. It looks like it's all built in. One of the things you'll notice is there is a tripod mount right there. So you can mount it for vertical content. That's kind of cool. Um, it has the RF mount right here, of course. Um, the release for the lens right here. Two custom buttons under here, and I've rented this before and I've used it before, and I set uh, one of these up to focus lock and one of these up to, I think, um, false color was the other one. Right here we have the plus and minus for the uh, ND filter to kick it up or, or down a notch. Our white balance, uh, number two, I don't actually recognize that symbol. Uh, number three is to turn peaking on and off. Um, 
Number four, I don't recognize that. Number five is the display, change the display on the back. Number six is the zebra mode. And then we come back here. Seven is push auto iris and eight, eight is index. Nine is a function button. And then uh, we get into 10, 11, 12. Where's 10? Boom, boom, boom. 10 is on the front right there. See that, that's 10. And then I think this is 11 and 12. So we talked about those buttons right there. And I use those for false color and for uh, focus lock. All right, so now we don't have our battery in, but you do have the flip screen, fully articulating screen right there. And inside protected by this, you have the inputs for the XLRs. Um, that is actually one thing I didn't see. It's supposed to have converters from XLR to mini XLR that come with it. And I didn't see that included. So I'll be looking for those. Um, so on the top, you have the power button right there. And so what's interesting is you have the media button right there. You have to push that to get to your playback mode. And then you have your slot selector right there because there are two uh, SD cards. Now what's interesting about this, and I, I'm kind of a fan, is they don't go for the big CFast cards. They have like the UHS SD cards. And that's, that's kind of nice. All right, so that's a quick tour. There's a battery release back there. Battery goes in there. That's a quick tour around what's in the C70. Uh, I'm gonna be looking for those XLR uh, to mini XLR um, adapters. I don't think they came in there unless they're bundled up with something else. But um, so why the C70? So at work, uh, we do a lot of video and increasingly with COVID and trying to boost our communications, more and more video content. And so um, one of the things that we've been doing is shooting promotional videos on all the schools. We used to hire an outside agency to do that. And then you're dependent on their timeline, you're dependent on their staff and their technique and their storytelling abilities. Uh, and you have to set up everything. So when they visit, it's all one shot. And they used to do these huge kind of like half day or full day marathon, pulling in all the parents, uh, principals and everybody to be talked to by the film crew. So now that we have, uh, we're building our kind of arsenal of cinema cameras, um, we've been using the Canon EOS R, but we're much more flexible. We go out as a team, uh, someone's on lighting, someone's on sound. I'm usually doing the B cam, Pablo's running the A cam. And then uh, we're able to go back out the next day if we need to pick up some footage. I think today Pablo just walked to the school next door, grabbed another, um, you know, 10 second clip of the front of the school or the playground and then came back to the office. And because we have the quality cameras to do it ourselves, um, we're having, uh, being able to shoot higher quality projects much more nimbly and uh, get a more sophisticated product out there to support our schools and tell those stories. So we're excited about this and uh, it's cool. It has, it's very reminiscent of the DSLR, the back of the Canon R series cameras. That's just thicker, chunkier. It actually feels really good in the hand. And uh, so we're looking forward to putting these cameras to good use. So leave a comment, let me know, are you interested in the Canon C70? That's what came with it in the box. And uh, I know I'm interested in getting more experience with this camera and getting out there and creating content. Um, and we're very fortunate to have a forward thinking uh, school district where I work, where we can put these into play. All right, peace out. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, I appreciate your support on the channel. Leave me a comment. I honestly don't know who's watching unless you leave me a comment. So leave me a comment, say hi, tell me where you're watching from, tell me what you shoot. I'm interested. Let's uh, get a conversation started in the comments. All right, peace.